How's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocket Gal, and welcome to another banner reaction. It is Fallen Hero time, so uh, let's get into it. All right, let's see if we're getting some engage units or not. That's engage. That's engage music. Right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was this an obvious clue. That's cool. By my father. She, yeah, she's wearing the Do crown like and everything. It? You have a good eye. Colorless infantry. Okay. Okay, I take that. I'll crush them. Whoa, new C skill? Interesting. What? Crystalline water? What? Attack, res tempo 4 in the normal summon pool? Pretty good. Strong against ranged foes and, and can crush foes by attacking twice. Yeah. She gets brave attacks or desperation? Uh, I'm not totally sure. Looks like just brave attacks, yeah. You this Goto's it. getting blasted. <laughs> Animation's really cool. Some dragon beam. Awesome. Fall Only oh, okay. What's her name again? I forgot. Ursula, I think. Simply yeah, Fallen Ursula. Okay, cool. Cool. Fears. Another Black Fang member. That's awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fallen Lloyd, 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 Fallen Lloyd. I don't know. I, I, sorry, I got a little too excited about that. Verge of Death. I love the name. So edgy. We'll, we'll read about that later. Um, but that sounds cool. Sounds like Life or Death is about to be Power Crypt. <laughs> Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. That was cool. Dead Crow Tome. Alright. Interesting. Nurgle! He's finally in the game. Did he ever... I don't understand. Did he ever become Fallen? I don't... I don't remember this. It's about time he gets edited. Wow. Blazing Blade. Really popping off. I... I really did not expect it to be a one... Almost borderline a one game situation. But hey, it's... It's cool. I'm cool with that. Defense Res 04. That is actually pretty nice. So he's probably going to be super tanky, I guess. Alright, I got really excited about that. It's about time he's in the game. Oh my god. The animation is always on point. Alright. Are we getting attuned, rearmed, ascended? Rearmed it is then. What are they going to do? Obsession. What? It is Fallen Lumera. Oh my god, I thought it was too soon. But okay, child. holy shit. How is that obsession? Oh my god, another red yes. unit. Okay, alright, okay. Arcane Fellstone. Speed Red Scout. Uh, uh, I don't know about that one. She seems pretty exciting. Alright, nice. And uh, Okay, and Linus has got to be the uh, GH <laughs> unit, for sure, without a fucking doubt. You dare oppose me. Oh my god, alright. So, it's basically Engage and Blazing Blade, for the most part. That is actually pretty cool. Oh, we're gonna see Henriette in the story! It's about fucking time. She was, like, teased a little bit, but... Nothing was ever really followed up on. Okay, cool, cool. Exciting. Actually, really freaking exciting. Are we getting two uh, sparks just because we have a rearmed unit? Yep, twice. So that will be two sparks from me. <laughs> uh, cool. All right. Um, let us read some uh, kits and shit. So Veil is here. Uh, colorless uh, in instead of blue. I'm pretty sure she's blue. Alright, so let's read what she's got. So she's got Fell Child's Might. So Accelerate Special Trigger Quote and Count Minus 1. For allies within two spaces of unit, reduce damage from attacks by 30% during allies combat. Uh, okay. That's, that's pretty nice uh, for the most part. Uh, if unit initiates combat or foe's range is equal to 2, uh, inflicts uh, attack and res minus 6 on foe, inflicts penalties on foe's attack and res equals 20% of unit's res at start of combat, reduce damage from attacks by 30%, uh, just by 30%, and 
grants special cooldown charge plus one to unit per attack during combat. And also, if unit's res is greater than or equal to or greater than or equal to foe's res plus ten during combat, uh, unit attacks twice. Wow. Okay, brave attacking. Uh, I know it's been nerfed a little bit, but still pretty good. So let's see. All right. So she gives herself and her allies uh, damage reduction if they are initiating. So that's not too bad. Um, it is pierceable, so it's not greatest, but it's it's not bad. Um, she inflicts attack and res. Uh, minus six plus uh, twenty percent of her res. That's actually kind of a lot. Uh, probably. Um, and then she gets another 30% damage reduction, so total she gets about 50%. Um, and then she gets the, uh, blade effect. Uh, okay, not a bad weapon so far. It's got, uh, good offenses. It's got some, uh, like, supporting capabilities. So overall, pretty decent. Uh, yeah, pretty decent. Um, and we'll have to see what her C skill is. Her A skill is Crystalline Water. So I guess still water's gonna be power crept, which is fine, I suppose. So it gives attack and res plus eight, and inflicts defense minus eight, okay? Uh, at start of player phase or enemy phase, neutralizes panic and any penalties to units attack and res that takes effect on unit at this time. Oh, so it's a start of, of turn effect of sorts. Neutralizes panic and, huh. Oh, yeah, this is this is good because th this makes it so that your visible stats are always going to be positive. So this is good for AoE nukers, which this unit isn't, at least not uh, out of the box. So that's a little strange, but um, it is good because, at least for her, because she does have a at start of combat uh, res uh, check. So, I guess that's not too bad. Um, and neutralizing the panic um, and penalties to attack and res, especially res is really good too. Um, which is one way to like really um, weaken AoE uh, units because they really rely on the uh, at start of combat like attack stat and if that's been decreased, um, then it's not as good. So yeah, actually, now that I think about it, this is actually pretty freaking good. Like. Borderline, it makes, like, still water, like, unusable now. I, I feel like. Like, this is just really freaking good. Um, and then she's got attack, resistance, tempo 4, and... Alright, here's her C skill. Fell successor. Uh, if unit initiates combat within two spaces of an ally, inflicts attack and resistance minus 5 on foe during combat. Uh, and also, if unit's resistance is greater than or equal to foe's resistance plus 5, and if foe's attack can trigger foe's special, inflicts, oh, special cooldown count plus one on foe before foe's first attack. Um, and also, if foe's range is equal to two, inflicts additional uh, special cooldown count plus one on foe before foe's uh, follow-up attack cannot exceed the maximum uh, special cooldown. All right, and then grants plus four to attack, defense, and resistance to allies within two spaces of ally during, or unit during their combat, okay, um, and then for allies within two spaces of unit, if this, oh, okay, so it's basically the same effect, but they're for the allies instead, okay, so this is, wait, how, how is this different from normal veil? I think this is different in that it doesn't give harmonic, what was it, Res resonant blade and shield, I think, and uh it does have this two range thing so it could go up to two in terms of the uh, cooldown count plus one uh situation so cooldown count plus two um and then some stats uh although it does have to be within two uh spaces of the unit which could be a bit of too much of an ask in this day and age but overall this is still pretty good uh really good supporting um, and really good at shutting down foes' uh, specials. Um, at, as we've seen now, the scowl effect is really popping off, really freaking good. So, uh, yeah, overall, this this unit seems pretty strong, I gotta admit. She seems really good. Um, just like a blessable, like, veil that doesn't have to stay in uh, whatever season. Astro was it? I, I don't remember. <laughs> 
Also could be used in defense teams. That could be really good too. So that could be pretty fun. Yeah, her art looks really cool. And that animation is really cool too. Really awesome. Really like that a lot. All right, Ursula. I actually was not expecting any uh, Black Fang members, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Also, Linus being there, uh, that is actually pretty awesome. Really glad that, I mean, hopefully Linus gets something cool, in terms of art at least. Uh, anyway, so here is uh, Ursula, uh, Dead Crotome. Accelerate special trigger cooldown count minus one at start of turn. If unit's HP is greater than equal to 25%, grant special cooldown count minus one to unit and grants attack and speed plus six and desperation to unit and all oh, and allies within two spaces of unit for one turn and also if units hp is equal to 100 percent at start of turn grants additional uh coin on count minus one to unit um and then at star combat if units hp is greater than equal to 20 percent grants attack and speed plus six to unit grants a bonus to units attack and speed equals 20 percent of unit speed at start of combat inflicts or deals damage equals 20 percent of units speed um, and then neutralizes effects that prevents units follow attacks during combat, and also, if units HP is at 100%, a star of combat neutralizes effects that inflict, a uh, special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. This is a really interesting unit. She really wants to be in full HP for the most part. Um, so, what are we looking at? We are seeing... A start, uh, so she gets... She gets a- she basically, at start of turn, gets minus two to her cooldown count, um, but she's basically gonna pre-charge that Blazing Thunder, um, and, uh, let's see, she gets- she's able to give desperation to herself and her allies, to her allies, that's really awesome, I- I think so, because desperation is a really good status to have, it's basically like a brave attack, except- in some cases, it's even better than brave attacks because some damage reduction that says, oh, if they attack twice, then you still do the damage reduction. But that doesn't count when it's a desperation attack. That's a bit different than attacking twice. So desperation is a lot better than brave attacks, in my opinion, for the most part. Um, and giving that out to your allies, that's pretty freaking good. If it was just for herself, that'd be pretty good. To her allies, really, really good. I think this is going to be really good. Um, really good nuke, um, she does a lot of damage, um, and yeah, it seems like she's gonna be a pretty decent AoE spammer, in my opinion. I mean, she does have Verge of Death, which is basically similar to what we saw with a Veil, except this is the life or death version of it, and, um, and yeah, and be again, being able to neutralize the panic and the, uh, debuffs on attack and speed for people who are AoE spammers is really, really good. Um, and then the rest of this is just basically the same build as, like, Rearm Reinhard. Not much else to say about that, but, yeah, Ursula, actually pretty strong. Pretty impressive. I actually kind of forgot her name for a second. Uh, again, Blazing Blade is not one of my f more favorite Fire Emblem games. I, I like it. I just like it a little bit less than some other Fire Emblem games. But that, that tome animation, that is insane. Really freaking cool. Yeah, def definitely really exciting. And I can't believe we're getting Nurgle. Nurgle as a fallen unit, that is pretty cool. I guess the same thing uh, with uh, Ashnard. Um, but yeah, I just did not expect that with Nurgle. All right. That's a lot of reading to do. So he's got Erish, Erish Kigal, which I believe is his personal tome from B Blazing Blade, I think. Uh, accelerate special trigger quote on count minus one at start of turn. If unit's HP is greater than equal to 20%, grants uh, attack plus six and essence drain to unit and allies within two spaces of unit for one turn. Uh, we'll read what essence drain does later. Uh, at start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than equal to 20%, uh, inflicts attack and res minus six on foe, inflicts penalty on uh, foe's attack and res equals 20% of unit's resistance at start of combat. Uh, deals damage equals to number of bonus effects active on unit times five for a maximum of 25. Oh my god. Okay. Um, and reduces damage by value equals to number of bonus effects active on unit times three for a maximum of 15. 
and excludes AoE specials. And also, if units attack can trigger unit special, uh, grant special uh, cooldown count minus X to unit before units first attack during combat. Oh, what's it gonna be? Yep, the bonuses for a max of three. Wow. So he really wants bonuses for sure. And he gets essence drain. So let's see what this does. Uh, after combat, if units, if unit attacked, uh, grants any bonus effects active on target and fills within two spaces of target to unit and allies with the essence drain effect and neutralize any bonus act bonus active on target and foes within two spaces of target holy fucking shit uh, after combat if foe was defeated in combat uh restores 10 hp to unit and allies with the essence strain effect oh my god i thought it was just gonna be healing that's what essence strain kind of sounded like but it just steals bonuses too what the fuck i guess that's kind of necessary in this bonus heavy meta that we found ourselves in Essence Drain sounds like it'd be pretty interesting. It definitely synergizes well with the weapon. It gives all, you know, it deals extra damage, damage reduction, uh, cooldown acceleration based off the number of bonuses you have. That just makes sense. And Essence Drain makes it, I don't know. It, it, I can't tell if he's going to be really good or not. He seems like he's going to be really strong just because, again, there's so many bonuses out and about in the meta that, um... Being able to steal them it seems really good. I don't I just don't know if he needs to like live to do it because if he could just like go in and uh, initiate combat but dies but he still steals the bonuses, that in itself could be really good. That could shut down a lot of like strategies in uh, like summoner duels and stuff, like like Pathfinder strategies. That could be really strong. Holy shit. I think this guy is definitely someone you need to look out for, for sure. Without a fucking doubt. Uh, he's got... Alright, so he's got C bonus doubler. That's actually pretty cool. Um, I was not able to get an Arlen, so did not get that skill. But yeah, cool to get that. Uh, special Spiral 4. Uh, not as good as it used to be, but still pretty decent. And then Defense Res 04. Great skill. Um, in general, good to teleport. Gives him an extra bonus. So overall, great synergy, good skill, and overall, I think this unit is, is uh, one you really need to look out for. Um, definitely could be a, like a tech option against uh, certain teams out there, especially like Pathfinder teams or teams that are very bonus heavy. Maybe like teams that have uh, like Desert uh, Igrin because she gives a plus uh, movement. Taking that away could be really good. Yeah, Nurgle is. I think he's really strong. Like, you need to watch out for him. This guy is insane. Alright, so let's go out to our rearm unit. So I was not expecting Lumera for sure. I thought it would be too soon, but I was proven wrong. <laughs> so here's Lumera. Uh, she is a uh, red dragon. Not that it really matters for uh, inheritance, but she is, she is red. Alright, so she's got our new... Uh, rearmed arcane dragon uh, stone, which is arcane fell stone. So special accelerate special trigger cooldown count minus one at start of combat. If unit HP is greater than twenty five percent, grants bonus to units. Uh, well everything equal to twenty five percent of foes attack at start of combat minus four for a maximum of fourteen. Wow, fourteen. So if they would need to have seventy two. Uh, attack at start of combat for you to get the 14 uh, maximum, which again is possible. It's not probable, but it it can happen uh, So uh, next on is reduces damage from foes first attack by 40% and then this is the brave thing um, And then grand special cooldown charge plus one to unit per attack during combat um, And also if unit speed is greater than uh, foe speed neutralize effects that guarantee foes follow-up attacks and effects that prevent Okay, so no follow-up and then adaptive damage. Okay, so let us break it down. So she gets slaying. She gets stats based off of the uh, the opponent's attack. Um, she reduce. She gets 40% damage reduction, which includes brave attacks. She gets special cooldown charge plus one per attack. Uh, she gets speed based null follow up and adaptive adaptive damage. Is this good? 
uh, yeah, I'd say it's probably good. Um, although it definitely more favoring faster dragons. Yeah, because like, what are slow dragons really gonna do with a no follow up? Nothing, nothing at all. So definitely gonna be better for the faster dragons uh, that don't have perf skills. Um, who would I give this to off the top of my head? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe... Yeah, actually, I don't know. I just don't know off the top of my head. But, um, interesting weapon, that's for sure. It's a nice alternative to uh, Arcane Grima. Uh, she also has speed, red scale 4, which is whatever. I'd rather have the attack speed one or the attack and resistance one. Um, so that's whatever. Uh, she has counter roar 4, which... I don't think it's a really good skill. It's it's okay, but it's not like crazy or anything. It's it's fine, but it's uh you know the damage reduction is pierceable, so it's you know it's whatever. But let's see what corrupted dragon does. Her a uh, unique C skill. So after unit X uh applies divine vein stone to spaces within five rows and five columns. Okay, so basically kind of like normal Lumera, uh grants. Plus four to everything to allies within five rows and five columns centered on unit and neutralizes effects that inflict uh, cooldown or special cooldown charge minus X to those allies during combat. Wow. Hmm. That is, yeah, that's pretty good. Extra stats, um, and then half of uh, tempo. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. And if there is an ally within five rows or five columns centered on unit, grants plus four. Two unit and neutralizes. Oh, okay. This, this is just on for herself. Um, and then she also gets extra thing. And also, when unit special triggers, neutralizes foes reduced damage by X uh, effects from foes non special skills. Okay, that's not too bad. You know. Okay, so the stone uh, thing is good. Not just because it's good for defense, but it's also good to neutralize other um, terrain sometimes. Uh, getting X plus four to everything is pretty good, and, uh, uh, what would I call that? Uh, offensive tempo, yeah, I'd say I call that offensive tempo. The offensive tempo is really good, um, and then she, she also gets it for herself, and she also, uh, neutralizes damage reduction, which is ironic because, uh, she has damage reduction herself, um, but, uh, yeah, overall, she seems pretty strong for the most part. Uh, the Arcane Fellstone seems pretty good. Um, she seems, like, seems like she's gonna be a pretty fast, uh, unit, which I believe the, uh, normal Lumero was also pretty fast. So, that just kind of makes sense. And, uh, yeah, here's another, you know, fodder factory that you can, uh, dish out some decent fodder. Uh, pretty cool that she's a dragon, so there's a lot of fun stuff that you can, uh, inherit. Uh, through that, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> I definitely am a bit surprised that she's here, uh, it was definitely a possibility, but definitely I was not expecting it at all, I was expecting one of the Aliyahs, I feel like that would have been more probable, but, hey, I'm cool with this, yeah, okay, so, uh, that about covers that, um, and, uh, yeah, we are getting, so it is one character per color, so that is gonna be a more, easy way to merge any one of those units, no uh, color sharing, so that's pretty good. Um, and we're getting two sparks, uh, which is good for whales, I guess, and also people who uh, like to summon, I suppose. Uh, for sure, I'm gonna be summoning on this banner, and I'm definitely gonna be going for the two sparks. And hopefully I'll try to get a copy of everyone on this, because I think everyone here is good. I think Nurgle is actually secretly gonna be really meta-relevant. Um, I think Vale is going to be pretty good, uh, Ursula seems pretty strong, um, and then I'm not, I'm not totally sure about, uh, Lumera yet, she's still up in the air about how good she's going to be, um, but, you know, normal Lumera is pretty good, so there's a good chance that she's going to be pretty good as well, so, uh, yeah, that about covers, uh, this, uh, reaction, let me know how you guys feel about this batch, were you, uh, Excited that we got some uh, more Black Fang characters, or were you expecting a more diverse cast of uh, like uh, units? Like, where are the Dead Lords from Droogdroll? Or um, 
you know, what about a uh, fallen to do stuff like that? You know, let me know how you feel about this banner in the comments below. Uh, in, any, in any case, I hope you all enjoyed this banner reaction of the latest fallen heroes banner. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>